Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a bunch of results from Osaka WGP Deluxe. Sorry, I haven't been, I guess, posting videos. I've been sick the last, say, one and one and a half weeks. But here I am, I'm back on the cam. Here we go, let's talk about Osaka results because there's actually a lot and it's divided into two blocks and different trends are kind of developing uh, on the JP side. We also have uh, more lyrical results. So gonna go through that as well. So starting with block A, we have, yeah, a bunch of Shoyu Doji. 11 teams out of the 16 brought Shoyu Doji. Um, next highest deck was five at Varga, three Shonui, Kari, and then pretty much a bunch of like everything else, right? Then the winning team was a Kari, Shoyu Doji, and Hermia. Uh, second team was Varga, Shoyu Doji, and Luard. Third was a Lutitia, Kairi, and Zorga. And then fourth team brought Shoyu Doji, Benny, and Wellstra. So just gonna go through the lists. Uh, so Kairi is a deck that we've kind of seen, I guess, uh, an increase of play. Um, I think a lot of the support from Lyrical One actually didn't affect this deck at all. Uh, so this deck plays the Willista Lion with the um, gem, uh, pretty much playing an order build, kind of. Uh, and then you're not playing the the order girl anymore. So the grade two that Soul Blast when you play an order, uh, just straight up three grade four Kari, four jumpers, um, just lyrical set one stuff. And you're just being able to like, um, yeah, just multi-attack. And this this is a really good deck into Shurunui, but I guess it's quicker now uh, to go into stuff like uh, Shuru Doji. You pretty much have to win quick, right? Cause you're pretty much on a timer. Um, this deck is actually pretty tanky as well. So, you know, merits for tanky decks, especially if you're, you know, spamming this, just on play CB1, draw one, um, and then just bouncing it back to hand, calling it again, and just spamming that, your hand just actually gets out of control. Um, so it might actually be a deck to, I guess, consider uh, to play in the next format because Shoujo Doji is pretty much a time bomb deck, right? Well, at least you, when you're versing it, it's a time bomb deck. Then, Shoujo Doji, Nothing too crazy. This is a pretty standard build, very straightforward build. Um, four of everything, two Kagechika, um, one of the uh, Union Sky Blitz Order, uh, and then pretty much, you know, three draws, four draws or whatever, and then crits and then Red OT. So yeah, this is pretty much the deck for Shodoji. Um, It's a pretty good list to kind of go off, right? Then Hermia, uh, I actually have no idea what this deck does. Uh, all I know is that it restands the front row and that's pretty much it. Um, but I'm guessing like with the new support, it, you get like a bunch of power. I haven't really invested too much time into knowing what this deck does other than the fact that it gets this new double R to be able to call or pump pump power, right? Um, soul Bus 1 gains 5. Being able to empty your soul is always good for uh, Hermia decks itself. Here's another Kairi deck. Uh, this one is pretty much similar to the one before, except this one uses the Sedna Aqua line. Uh, so not playing uh, early aggression, pretty much um, substituting that for auras. I think the previous one didn't play aura um, and maxed out on the, oh, I guess they maxed out on the dragon, extra Kairis, and then having slots for um, the gem, right? Um, maxed out on Yuika as well. Um, but I guess this deck, you know, you opt to find some of your orders, your elementaria. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what the deck does, right? Um, again, more Kairi results uh, poses that, you know, this deck might actually be pretty good in the set three format. Then we have a Zorga deck. This one plays the Snail. Uh, Zorga actually, so after playing against it a couple of times, uh, it actually gets really fat in power. Uh, makes it really hard to guard later on in the game if you don't have like pretty much three pgs you're kind of screwed um a lot of the orders allows you to like pump regards that come out uh the regards that get called out gain plus five for every like bind zone um so it becomes really really fat right and then like a lot of these like snails pretty much gain insane power which poses for a pg or you're dead right um, this deck is, yeah, pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. I think uh, this is as straightforward as it gets. Yeah. Then going to block B for Osaka. Uh, this one is pretty jarring. Uh, seven Benny. Seven Benny. 
not even shoji doji so i think a lot of the cut or maybe like a lot of the teams uh that were shoji doji influenced or dominant uh got put in one block and then benny got put in the other block but seven teams brought benny pretty crazy uh with five shinui being next four leono four shoji doji uh three varga and then pretty much like a bunch of everything else right um yeah pretty surprising to see benny here uh i would never have thought we'd see benny but yeah we'll talk about that in just a sec so the winning team brought shamo blank maya and shirinui second brought leonon messiah and luard third brought shirinui wells uh willista and benny and then fourth brought zorga shamo and dayusha then i guess looking at the decks shamo nothing too crazy the only thing that they got extra is this Pretty much an EV3 call one and then Solblast one give your Vanguard plus five. Pretty good because obviously you don't use energy in the stack. Uh, and then Soul Blasting one being able to give your Vanguard plus five is, you know, well merited, right? Um, you, you used to run the, what's it called? The, is it the powerful grade two uh, that gains power? Um, so now that's been replaced by this new card. Um, being able to call one is always good too. Um, being able to call like Reseus is good if you just chuck it in the soul. Um, so yeah, lots of applications with this card. Uh, pretty good support for Shamo. Uh, otherwise, nothing else kind of changes. Blank Maya. Blank Maya is this deck that it's very straightforward and it just does what it does. Uh, the only change really is this dual nation card. Otherwise, you're like swapping it for like EB Cyclers. Maybe more Falcratia, like this one, grade one, can be like swapped out for like Falcratia, EB Cyclers. You're playing two of the Intercept grade one, uh, three uh, Cage Orders, and yeah, pretty much you're playing um, the rest of whatever's in this deck, right? Very straightforward, very well thought out, and you know, it's simple, right? Sometimes you don't need to overcomplicate things, tech in cards, just do what your deck does best. So that's Blank Maya and Shirunui. So this is as standard as it gets. Uh, this deck doesn't run max dual nation. Um, having spreads of pretty much every other card in the deck um, that you saw before, double destructive raw um, to be able to bounce all your defensive pieces, like your PGs, your OT, your uh, fronts, which is pretty good. Uh, otherwise the deck hasn't really changed very much. Then Messiah, uh, Messiah, yeah. This, this deck got really, really good because of this guy. Pretty much a call one uh, on grade two, which is what Messiah needed. It needed an early game. And here it is, you know, it's available in English. Just start popping off, right? Start popping off. Um, I think everything in this deck is available in English as well. Um, yeah, this is from set one. That's from festival. Yeah, pretty much everything else is accessible, right? Start playing Messiah, I think Messiah is a really good deck. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you know you guys have tested out this deck. It's pretty cool. Leonorn. This broccoli literally made this deck really good. Token generator, 15k attacker, 10k shield. What more do you want, right? Poses a really good early game and you know allows for the deck to have a even an even better early game. Um, and then pretty much you're getting through your turn three, turn four, turn five with pretty much uh, restanding rear guards, restanding vanguard, uh, restanding front row uh, with just ridiculous power with Rosarian Fairy and uh, the Luster Dragon, right? So yeah, very, very strong deck. Then Luard. Uh, this deck is pretty spicy. Runs the new um, Triple R or yeah, the Shadow Paladin Searcher, top, five, top seven Shadow Paladin Searcher. This was actually supposed to be for like another deck, but you know, using it for the war, it's pretty good. Uh, top seven Searcher for Shadow Paladin, then um, on attack, Soblast one plus 10, it's pretty good. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're playing this doggo. Well, it's not really a doggo, it's like a cat, um, but everything else, you know, you don't have Sir Gowan anymore. You're playing Painkillers, which is okay. Um, and then you're playing this, Regalus piece being able to have additional shield is always good. So that's Luard. Then Benny. This is Enterana.deck. If you guys played Steam Maiden before, Enterana was broken and 
pretty much all of your cards call each other. Uh, so this grade two calls this, this calls this, this calls this. Um, and then you're playing four of the bespoke order, being able to find all your pieces, deck compress, hit a bunch of crits and your opponent's dead, right? Very straightforward deck, actually hits a, like a truck on turn three going first. And yeah, sometimes your opponent just can't guard it, right? And you just snowball your way out of the game. So yeah, I like Benny. It's a very fun deck. I played it and yeah, it's very, very, very fun. Hope, hopefully it comes in English. Then the last deck to talk about is Willistar. Uh, this deck got slight upgrades. So you're playing this. So it is a pretty much a 13k attack or booster. Um, end of turn, you can EB3, sack it for a grade three Willistar or a gem card and add it to hand. Again, being able to find ways to, I guess, have more consistency in the deck so that you don't just randomly brick that one time where you don't have a gem or don't have Persona Ride. Um, really good because then you're able to Soul Blast your Persona Ride and recycle them back, Persona Ride again, and keep the loop going, right? Now that you have Vasha Blood and Elvira, pretty much this deck is at full power. So yeah, that's pretty much all the results from Osaka. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, pop a like, comment down below what you guys think of all the results. If you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.